Hello everyone and welcome to this pick a pile reading Are they coming back? I'm going to cover if they are missing you Are they coming back? What do you need to know about your person right now? So I'm going to use three things for this I'm going to use a beautiful crystal necklace that I use as a pendulum I received this as a birthday present from somebody It's absolutely stunning So you can choose from this one We've got some beautiful angel wings here Or we've got a beautiful rock so all I need you to do is choose your item. Do you want the beautiful crystal necklace? Are you guided to that right now? Are you guided to the beautiful angel wings? Or are you guided to this piece of crystal rock? What are you guided to right now? What are you guided to? What's jumping out at you right now? It doesn't matter if you can't see them very well. Pause the video and pick your pile. We've got pile one, pile two, and pile three and what I'm doing I'm going to shuffle on camera to show you what's going on using two decks of tarot the angel answers and I'm going to pull you an affirmation so thank you for being here for liking subscribing it means the world that we are family and you're enjoying these videos so have you made your choice right now let's go straight into pile one then pile one we've got one minute 25 for the crystal necklace Thank you, angels, for being with me and everyone watching. Is this person that Pile One are thinking of, thinking of them, missing them, wanting to contact them, will they be in touch? What do we need to know? Will this person contact them? Are they missing them? What do we need to know? Wow. Falling on the floor. Will this person contact them for Pile One? Thank you. What do we need to know? Will this person contact them for pile one? Thank you, thank you, thank you, and so it is. So we've got the messages then for pile one. I'm just going to put the cards back here ready. So, if you've chosen the crystal necklace then, these are the messages coming through for you right now. Wow. First of all, your person needs to let go of the past to be able to come forward to you. They are going through a huge transformation right now. They're going through tower moments. They're actually picking themselves back up off on the feet again so they can make a decision to move forward to you. So they've got things to release now before they can move forward. Now it really feels like they are going to be reborn in the in the autumn period and we're coming into that now. I think it's the 29th or something of this month we're going into autumn. But they are showing me releasing the past, letting go from October, starting to get stronger and standing on their feet again because they want to release the past. They want a future with you. I feel that. And right now they are gaining the strength to leave things behind. The angels are telling me your person has been thinking about leaving things in the past, whatever they've been going through since June time, wanting to release the past, whether this is a karmic situation or something they need to get out of first to be free to be with you. But they are going to go through an awakening around about October time. The angels are saying they've already been going on this awakening since June. But they're now preparing to make a change because they are starting to stand strong in your power. Possible that your person could be a fire sign or have the traits of one. Very, you know, creative, passionate, fiery, strong and independent as well. And that's what I'm really feeling in these cards here. And then we've got Oceanic Tarot. Wow, look at this one. Oh, wow, brilliant. So, you know, it's showing they're going through a huge transformation right now. A huge transformation. This is the death card. They're going through changes right now. And they are going to come forward to you. You've got the two of cups here. This is the partnership between you. So how do they see you? How are they feeling about you? They see you as a couple. They see you as a divine partnership in the future. And the angels are saying between October and February are coming forward. Now remember, time is illusion. It may take shorter or longer for this to happen. And you have to also do your work. You can't just expect things to fall into place if you're not doing your work as well. But the angels are saying as we stand right now, things are moving forward and you're going to have the partnership that you want with this person. Wow, we've got in the near future coming through. 
in the near future. So the angels are saying your person is going to come back to you. They are going to contact you in the near future. It's going to happen. They're giving me between October and February. But remember, it depends on a number of things. And the affirmations we've got for you. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Couldn't write this stuff. We've got healing and we've got Archangel Raphael. Obviously, Archangel Raphael is the healing angel that helps with huge transformations. And your person is going through a huge transformation right now. So trust in this. They are going through a healing. It says the angel of healing is with you right now. Feel their presence. So, you know, your masculine or your person or your soulmate, whoever you're thinking of, your beloved right now, is going through a healing and Archangel Raphael is surrounding them in protection. But do they miss you? Do they want to come forward to you? Yes, they do. In the near future, they are seeing you as their partner, as a partnership, a union, a love connection. They just need to leave the past behind first, go through this radical transformation they're going through now so they can be the person that you want them to be. How amazing is that? Wow. And that was pile number one. Wow. Okay, so now we're going into pile number two, which is the beautiful angel wings. It's 610. 610 for the angel wings then. If you've been guided to these beautiful angel wings, let's see what's coming up for you. Okay, thank you, angels. How is the person connected with the angel wings pile one? Sorry, pile two. Thinking. The angels are telling me, first of all, you could very well be conflicted between pile one and pile two. So don't worry if you're resonating with all the piles. There's guidance in there for everyone. So, you know, what is their person thinking for pile two, please, angels? Are they coming back? What do we need to know? How are they feeling? Will there be contact? What do we need to know? What do we need to know right now? What do we need to know about this situation? How's their person feeling? Are they coming back? What's going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh, is this person coming back? Will they contact them? Will this person contact them? Will this person contact them? Wow. Okay, a few cards of those for you. Will this person contact them straight out of the deck? No messing about. There we go. Okay, and those two just fell out, so I'm going to take them. I'm doing as I'm told. I'm doing as I'm told. Okay, then. Right. So is this person coming back to you? Are they missing you? How are they feeling about you right now? So I'm just going to get the cards in order here. I'm going to do the Gilded, then the Oceanic, then... Um, Radley's cards and then I'm going to do the affirmation at the end so a lot of tarot coming out now this is the card that jumped out here the lovers it jumped out you may have seen that when I'm shuffling so this connection between the two of you is real it's absolutely real there's passion and fire between the two of you so you'll be feeling this intense connection and your person is feeling that for you they can't get enough of you they can't get enough of your energy it's electric it's electricity right now but the showing there could be some things holding them back here the showing this they could be very well be a father or they could be a husband to somebody else they could have responsibilities right now that are stopping this divine connection so there's something within them that's holding them back right now it could be things connected with society the way they are seeing things there could be a number of factors involved but it's like they need to really release things first sort out their responsibilities get their priorities in order so that they are not only free to be with you but they can provide what you want them to provide for you. They can be the provider. I feel this person likes to be in charge as a provider. You know, they feel emasculated if they're not actually providing. And it doesn't matter if this is a male or female. It's showing the energy here, you know. They like to be able to stand on their own two feet and provide. So they're a very responsible person. It's showing that right now you could be having petty squabbles and arguments with this person, disagreements with this person, and this may be going on for a while, but it's showing me that around about December to springtime, there's going to be huge changes within your connection. And the reason why is because it's a beautiful love connection. It's passionate. It's fire. It's like it's on fire right now. 
So the angels are saying for the next five months, there could be some conflict, some going round in circles. You may feel you're not getting anywhere and you need to have patience with your person because it's all connected with their responsibilities and the way they feel about stability on the 3D. So the next five months, we've got October, so in September, October, November, December, January, February. That would make sense because they're showing me with the Ace of Pentacles, which is all about abundance, new beginnings, fresh starts coming in this is showing between december and springtime are coming together beautiful things on the horizon because your person is at a crossroads right now and they want to move forward to be with you this is the situation this is the relationship they want to be in and this is with you but they need strength right now they know there's hope for the future with your connection but it feels like the thing that's holding them back is the stability of things their priorities right now and i feel it's you know probably connected with children or a marriage or something they want to build in the 3d first to offer something to you so they can be the person that you want them to be they need to provide for you it's really important to your person that they are provided they are a provider and you know if they don't come across like that it's ingrained in their soul it's one of their lessons they are learning right now but it's showing me things are moving forward they are going to come back to you between december and springtime there's going to be a further connection and just let go of any petty squabbles arguments or the feeling things aren't moving forward because they are going to move forward and it's going to be beautiful between December and springtime. And, you know, your person is going to come forward to you. And then in the Oceanic, let me have a look what's going on in the Oceanic Tarot. You know, yes, they also, wow, look at this for mirrored energy. This is why I felt one and two would be connected. We've got the death card coming through here. The death card again, transformation. So your person is going through a huge transformation right now to get where they want to be, which is in partnership with you. And they're telling me again, this is the number two. This is February time, which would make perfect sense with five months with the petty squabbles arguments going round in circles energy. But between December and springtime, which is around about April, but I'm feeling between now and February, are coming together but they are on a healing journey because they need to really heal a kind of loss they've been going through we've got resilience and we've got competition so you know they may be in competition right now there may be a lot going on you know the thing is i mean look how amazing these cards are for repeating here we've got the five of ones in the in the gilded and we've got five of ones here you know, in the oceanic, it's mirrored energy again. So again, a go round in circles, there may be some competition. You may have some competition or think it's competition anyway, when it really isn't. If they've got another partner or they've got kids, you know, so you have to let go of that because they do want to come forward to you. They're just finding it difficult right now, but they are resilient they are resilient. In other words, they aren't giving up on this connection because it's the real deal. It's the lovers. It's passionate and fiery. You know, that's what it actually is. So they aren't going to give up on this connection because they see this partnership as working out in the future. They are resilient here. So you have to trust in this connection. You have to trust in this connection. Wow. Wow. Look at this. So first of all, we've got yes. So are they going to come forward to you, contact you? Yes. Are they missing you? Yes. The answer is yes here. You've got to remain positive. Remain positive right now because things are being worked out. Ask your angels to give you signs and guidance. There are going to be helpful people around to help and assist in this situation because right now your person is reconsidering their life path. They are wondering what to do. They know that they shouldn't be where they are. So they are reconsidering things right now. There are going to be helpful people around them, guiding them and showing them the way. They are asking angels. The angels are around them. They are going within. They are speaking to heaven here. And they are starting to remain positive because, yes, they know that there's something better out there. And that's connected with you. And we've got inspiration. 
So the angels are inspiring them. It says a new idea comes to you like a whisper in your heart. Listen and take action. This inspiration is from high above. So your person is being inspired to take action towards you. So do they miss you? Are they going to come forward to you? Yes, it's inevitable. You just do your work, let go of fear and don't feel you're in competition with anyone because you are special and unique just the way you are. Amazing. Now, if you've picked pile three, which is this wonderful rock here we're on 1455 i'm going to put 1455 for this special rock here thank you angels for being with me and everyone watching for the people who've picked the rock then is the person they are thinking about coming back to them will they come back how are they feeling about this situation what do we need to know how are they feeling about things do they want to come back? Will they come back? What do we need to know right now? Amazing. Okay. Are they coming back? Is this person they thinking about right now for pile three coming back? Are they thinking about coming back? Are they missing them? What do we need to know, please, angels? What guidance have you got, please, angels? Are they coming back? Is this person coming back? What do we need to know? What do we need to know right now? Wow. Okay. What do we need to know right now? What do we need to know right now? It's about this person It's on the floor, okay? This, wow, there's a lot on the floor here. A lot on the floor, okay? Let me move them. So, if you've been guided to the crystal rock then, these are the messages for you about your person. And I'm going to again do them in the order that I've shuffled. Now, I feel there may be some hesitation around this situation right now. So some worry maybe or thinking about it a little bit too much and not trusting in the universe. First of all, what they're showing me is there's going to be movement in March time. Now, it feels like you're going to be learning to be patient up until then. There may be fears of the future. They're showing me pain in the toes. And pain in the toes is connected with small fears of the future details. So your person is really going within. They're feeling very trapped right now. They could possibly be in a marriage and they may need to get divorced. They may have financial ties that are stopping them coming forward to you right now. Things that need sorted out legally. It feels like there's financial commitments, there's contracts, there's other things that could be distance in the way. There's going to be things that need to be sorted out legally. So it feels there's financial things keeping them trapped right now. Things connected with contracts or legal documents something that's what i'm feeling and you know because of this it's creating a block and they're putting barriers up right now they may be being a little bit standoffish or defensive they may be blocking you or ignoring you or if they are in contact with you right now being very cold so if you've picked this pile it does feel a little bit different than the other two piles that you may not be in contact you may be in deep separation but there's a reason behind it and it's because they are going through a spiritual awakening right now and the angels are showing me there will be a rebirth period around about March time things moving forward so they are going to come back to you from March onwards it's like there's going to be the passion ignited within them and they are going to start seeing you in a different light they are going to be ready to come forward to you so yes, they are missing you, but there's things in the way. And this isn't your problem. It isn't your fault. It's things they've got themselves into that they've got to get themselves out of. So a lot of fear energy connecting this. Fear of the small things, the minor fears of the future. So my guidance to you would be to go within and to tune into your higher self and to really do your work, to really focus on you and your life right now. And remember to expect the unexpected because the show me this is going to move forward. It's just going to take a few more months yet. It's going to come around about March time. There's going to be a huge rebirth. And in that period of time, there's a period of healing transformation a time to let go and release your person needs to let go of fear energy because they feel like a victim they feel trapped right now they feel trapped by legal things documents you know financial stuff it could be a marriage whatever it is they need to free themselves so i feel they're being very defensive right now but they are also being healed from within so trust in that connection 
the oceanic tarot wow look at this you know they they attempted by you they attempted by you all the time you were their temptation and they dream about you and they wish that they could be with you this is the nine of cups here it's the wish card it's about dreams coming true they see you as a dream coming true and they aren't giving up on this journey they're giving me the number seven there seven months now when would that take us to september we've got october november december january february march april if we count september that does take us into march and this is showing they are continuing to be interested in you wanting you caring about you tempted by you there's a lot of passion here but i really do feel the block isn't even connected with you it's something they've got themselves into they need to get themselves out of so you have to have faith in this because they are tempted by you all the time and you know you are their wish you are what they dream about and they aren't giving up so this person isn't going to give up on you anytime soon so rest assured that it's going to happen at the right time and i am feeling march time yes look at this yes they are coming forward to you they are coming forward to you they are missing you wait you've got to have patience here the angels are saying, wait, because your person is being guided to be assertive. And right now there's things in the way. And they're giving me the right ear and fear. Right ear and fear. Okay, the angels are saying, if your right ear starts burning, this is connected with the fear energy that they are currently going through. So they are being guided to be assertive, but they need to wait right now. You need to wait right now. You need to have patience. But yes, they are coming forward to you. Yes, they are missing you. They are coming back to you. Have faith. And, you know, first of all, I mean, all these fell out. Look at this. So you have to trust. You know, you have to trust that your person is doing their work, coming forward to you at the right time. This is about wisdom and integrity. So this is what you desire. You know, you don't want to have an affair with anybody. You don't want to get in the way of somebody. You don't want to force anybody you want it all to happen at the right time. And, you know, you're gaining real wisdom through this situation. And so is your person. Integrity. This person has to do the right thing. They are being guided to follow their heart now and stand in their power. Diversity. So this is about knowing that everybody is different and that you are special and loved just the way you are. And your person is starting to realise this. I feel that they've been through some things in their life where they haven't felt worthy and they've just kind of gone along with what's happened. But they realizing now that, you know, they are worthy of great things. They are special. They are unique. And they deserve something wonderful. And that's the heart and soul connection with you. That's what tempts them. That's what they dream about. That's what they wish for. So it says, when making your decision, choose through love, not fear. So they are being guided to choose through love and ignore the fear. So they are dealing with a lot of fears right now. And we've got the mindfulness card. You know, be mindful of another's feelings and needs. So this is again about they may be thinking about others right now. They may be not doing what they want to do because of others, because of responsibilities, finances. So once again, all these piles are mirroring each other. But the angels are very clear. Yes, they are coming back. Yes, they are thinking of you. They're even giving you timelines. So don't see that as a negative. See it as an absolute beautiful positive because the angels are guaranteed you that your person loves you misses you and is coming back to you have a beautiful night and i'll see you soon